All right, in today's video, guys, we're gonna be putting in decoders for the high beams, the H11 high beams in the Passat. I did eventually get a warning light uh, saying that my high beams are out. That's because of the signal. Uh, LEDs pull a different current or different amps than um, halogens. So what we're gonna do is install decoders in between the light itself and the connection from the car. Very cheap, very inexpensive, very easy to do. So let's get to it, guys. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Here's what I'm gonna be doing on Mother's Day. LED decoders <laughs> for the high beams today. So happy Mother's Day to you. So this is what I'm getting, and most people will. This is for the high beams. Check right, high beam is what it says, and you notice the little light over here. So uh, we're gonna get rid of that, and it's real simple. It's a common error. All we need to do is put decoders in between the light itself and the electrical connection. So very simple, very inexpensive to do. So let's get to it guys and we'll eliminate these lights in the instrument cluster here. I highly recommend checking out my last video. Uh, a couple videos ago, I did the H11 LED high beams from Oxido and I showed you how to put those in. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start by taking this piece off here. I'm starting on the passenger side and that's the H11 LED right there. So we're just gonna undo this connection here and hook up the decoders. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So as before, I already got it loose, but basically you just turn it counterclockwise like that and they should pull right out. And you can do it with the light actually in there, but it's easier to access this connection here. So let's get them switched out. So just, it's real simple. Just disconnect it. It's one little clip. Disconnect the light, and we're going to put the decoder in between the light and the electrical connection from the car. So here's the decoder. They're pretty small. You can see my hand. I mean, it's about as it's smaller than that. So um, just take the male end, the male end here, and it goes right in there in the H11 bulb. It's pretty standard for all of them. So you just snap it in like that very simple and then what you're going to do is we're going to put this back in where it goes and the electrical connection from the car will go into this end and that should solve all of the problems it's that simple all this does is change the the power signal that the the computer from the car is receiving that's why the light came on in the first place because leds draw a different current uh pull different amps so the car notices that in it thinks that the actual light bulb is out or whatever. So this will eliminate that. So this is the wire, the electrical connection that's going to the car. So you wanna get make sure this is out of the way. It's kind of in the way a little bit. Just bend it down out of the way so you have a clear access here. And put your light back in. Just feed it in, feed in the wires. Make sure you get it seated and then you wanna turn it clockwise. So get it seated. You have to put it in straight, of course. You'll have to play with it a little bit, but then you just turn it clockwise, just about an eighth of a turn. It's locked in, that's good. You take this other end, you take the wire coming from the car, and you just plug it in. After you connect the wires, you want to tuck it in so you can put the dust cover back on. So find a way to do that. I put the box on one side and the wires on the other side. It fit very well. And let's not forget to put the dust cover back on. So I started the car, everything looks good. No light whatsoever. So we're gonna take it for a drive. All right, so I drove around for a while. I don't know, a half a day uh, running some errands. I just wanted to get back with you on this. No errors, nothing. I've turned on and off the car several times. Um, everything's great. The lights work great. No errors. That's the point. That's why you get the decoders. So, yes. The light is actually off. It's hard to believe that it's that easy, but it really is. It's that simple. The only thing I would suggest is to, I'm going to go back in and put some Tessa tape or some heat resistant type protection on those wires because they are kind of laying against the LED itself, not the bulb, but the, the back part of it, the housing, aircraft aluminum housing. 
I think they'll be fine, but I just want to do it because that's just how I am. I like to do things. I like to overdo it. So anyway, I would recommend doing that, but man, what an easy job. That's it. If you guys have any questions, put some comments down below. Um, hit the subscribe button and um, I'll hopefully be able to get the answers for you. Uh, very easy to do. Anybody can. All right.